Space is a mind-boggling place full of wonders and terrors. You might think you know what's out there, but the truth is even wilder than you can imagine. From deadly light-speed travel to planets wandering the cosmos, space has some truly bizarre and scary stuff going on. Did you know the moon is slowly drifting away from Earth? Or that there are planets roaming free without a star to orbit? Space is packed with extreme temperatures, invisible dangers, and mind-bending physics. Get ready to have your mind blown by some of the craziest facts about the final frontier. You might dream of zipping through space at light speed, but it's not as fun as it sounds. At 299,792,458 meters per second, things get scary fast. Even tiny bits of hydrogen floating in space become super radioactive at that speed. They could wipe out a spaceship's crew, fry all the electronics, and pack as much punch as the Large Hadron Collider. So maybe slow and steady is the way to go when exploring the cosmos. Your atoms will thank you. The moon is slowly drifting away from our planet. Each year, it gets about four centimeters farther from Earth. While this might not seem like a big deal now, it could cause some serious problems down the road. As the moon moves away, it changes how Earth spins. Our days will get longer, way longer. Eventually, a single day might take more than a month. This slowdown could mess with our oceans too. The tides might get stuck in one place instead of moving back and forth like they do now. Earth's rotation will slow down, days will become much longer, and ocean tides may get stuck. Think about how weird it would be if a day lasted longer than a month. Your sleep schedule would be totally different. Dark holes in space are really scary. They form when big stars die. These holes are so dense that nothing can escape them, not even light. If a small one showed up in our solar system, it would mess up the planet's orbits and tear the sun apart. But that's not all. Dark holes can zoom across the galaxy at millions of miles per second. As they travel, they leave destruction in their wake. You might think it's cool to fly through space at the speed of light, but it's actually super dangerous. If you hit even a tiny bit of hydrogen while going that fast, it would turn into strong radiation. This could kill you and fry all your electronics in seconds. Space is full of other scary stuff too. Gamma rays are the strongest explosions we know about. They pack as much energy in a split second as our sun will make in its whole life. Space holds many secrets, including enormous explosions you can't see with your eyes. These blasts pack more punch than anything on Earth. You might think the sun is bright, but these bursts outshine entire galaxies. They release as much energy in seconds as our sun will in its whole life. Scientists call them gamma-ray bursts. They're the biggest bang since the Big Bang itself. These bursts happen far away in space. If one went off nearby, it could spell trouble for Earth. The burst could strip away our ozone layer, leaving us exposed to harmful radiation. Some experts think a gamma-ray burst might have caused a mass extinction long ago. Imagine a flash so bright it could wipe out life across a planet. We're lucky these bursts are rare and usually happen far from us. Still, they remind us how wild and dangerous space can be. Being in space might seem cool, but it can mess with your body in weird ways. When you're floating around without gravity, your muscles and bones don't have to work as hard. This means they can get weaker over time. Your muscles might shrink, and your bones could lose some of their strength. Your heart changes too. On Earth, it has to pump blood against gravity to reach your head. In space, it doesn't need to work as hard so it can get a bit lazy. When you come back to Earth, your heart might struggle to pump blood normally again. Space can also make you feel sick. Many astronauts get space motion sickness in the first few days. It's like feeling car sick, but in space. Your brain gets confused because your inner ear, which helps with balance, isn't working the same way without gravity. Your eyes can have problems too. Some astronauts' eyeballs change shape a bit in space, which can affect their vision. Scientists are still trying to figure out why this happens. Here's a quick list of other ways microgravity can affect you. You might grow taller, temporarily. Your face can get puffy. You could lose some of your sense of taste. Your immune system might not work as well. Staying healthy in space takes work. 
Astronauts have to exercise a lot to keep their muscles and bones strong. They also have special diets and take vitamins to stay as healthy as possible while floating around up there. Did you know metals can glue themselves together in space? It's pretty wild. This happens because there's no air up there. Down here on Earth, air makes a thin rust layer on metal, but in space that doesn't happen. So when two pieces of the same kind of metal touch in space, they can fuse into one big piece. It's like they were always meant to be together. Scientists call this cold welding. This cool trick caused some headaches for early space missions. Imagine trying to open a door, but it's stuck shut because the metal parts fused. Now, space engineers have to be extra careful when designing stuff that goes to space. They use special coatings or different materials to stop things from sticking when they shouldn't. But it's not all bad news. Sometimes, cold welding can be useful for fixing things in space. You just have to be smart about how you use it. It's like having a built-in space welder, as long as you know what you're doing. You might wonder if Earth is the only planet with life in the vast universe. This question has puzzled scientists for ages. The universe is big and old, so it seems likely that other planets could have life too, but we haven't found any solid proof yet. This puzzle is called Fermi's Paradox. It's named after a scientist who asked, if aliens exist, why haven't we seen them? Some ideas try to explain this. Maybe space travel is too hard, even for advanced aliens. Aliens might be hiding from us on purpose. We could be the first intelligent life in our area of space. Advanced civilizations might destroy themselves before they can explore space. What do you think? Is it scarier to imagine we're alone in the universe or that other beings are out there? Either way, the mystery of alien life keeps scientists searching and people wondering. You might think all planets orbit stars, but that's not always true. Some planets roam free through space, not tied to any star. These wanderers are called rogue planets. Rogue planets get kicked out of their home systems. They zoom through the galaxy alone, crashing into things as they go. It's pretty wild to imagine. These lonely worlds are usually super cold since they don't have a sun to warm them. But here's a cool fact. Some might have hidden oceans deep underground. The planet's core keeps things warm inside, while an icy shell insulates it. Who knows, there could even be life in those hidden seas. Scientists think there might be tons of rogue planets out there. They're hard to spot because they don't give off light. But as our tech gets better, we're finding more and more of these cosmic drifters. Space is huge, and getting from one place to another takes a long time. Even with our fastest rockets, trips between planets can take months or years. Here's a quick look at some travel times. Earth to Moon, three days. Earth to Mars, seven to nine months. Earth to Pluto, about 10 years. Going beyond our solar system takes even longer. If you could travel at light speed, which you can't, it would still take over four years to reach the closest star. Getting to the center of our galaxy would take 100,000 years. These long travel times make space exploration really challenging. You'd need lots of food, water, and supplies for such long journeys. Keeping astronauts healthy on extended missions is also tough. Their muscles and bones can get weak from floating in zero gravity for months. While movies often show spaceships zipping around quickly, the reality is much slower. Space travel requires a lot of patience, harsh places. Space is full of places with crazy hot and cold spots. You'd be shocked at how extreme it can get out there. The hottest temperatures come from supernovas, exploding stars that reach a mind-blowing 50 million degrees. That's way hotter than any nuke blast. On the flip side, empty space is unbelievably cold at minus 270 degrees Celsius. That's just a tiny bit warmer than the coldest possible temperature. If you visited Venus, you'd face temperatures of 460 degrees Celsius and crushing pressure. The air would kill you fast. Not exactly a fun vacation spot, even our own sun will get super hot as it ages. In the far future, it'll cook Earth's oceans and burn away our air. Yikes! The unknown vastness of space. Space is big, really big. It's so vast that it's hard to wrap your head around. When you look up at the night sky, you're peering into an endless expanse that goes on forever. It's natural to feel a bit uneasy about all that emptiness. The darkness of space isn't like the dark you're used to on Earth. 
It's a complete absence of light that stretches as far as you can imagine. This can be pretty scary to think about. Your brain is wired to be cautious of dark, unknown places. In space, that instinct goes into overdrive. But the darkness isn't empty. It's full of things we can't see. Invisible radiation, dark matter, rogue planets, black holes. These hidden dangers make space even more mysterious and unsettling. You never know what might be lurking just beyond your vision. The vastness of space also means help is very far away if something goes wrong. If you run into trouble on a space mission, you're on your own. There's no quick rescue coming. Space is an alien environment humans weren't made for. Without special protection, you'd die in seconds. The cold, the radiation, and the lack of air all make space a very unfriendly place for people. Yet despite all the dangers, we keep exploring space. Our curiosity pushes us to learn more about the universe around us. As you look up at the stars, remember, there's a whole lot of unknown out there waiting to be discovered. You've probably heard of black holes, but have you met their equally intense cousins, magnetars? These cosmic powerhouses pack a serious punch. Imagine squeezing an entire star into a ball just 15 meters wide. That's a magnetar for you. A single teaspoon of magnetar stuff weighs as much as 900 Great Pyramids of Giza. Talk about dense. But that's not even the coolest part. These stellar remnants have the strongest magnetic fields known to exist. How strong? Let's put it this way. If you got too close, you'd be torn apart at the atomic level. Yikes. Magnetars don't mess around when it comes to their magnetic might. They can rip atoms apart, warp space-time, and create powerful bursts of energy. So next time you're stargazing, remember there are some seriously powerful objects out there, quietly flexing their magnetic muscles across the cosmos. Space travel can really mess with your body. When you're floating around up there, your muscles don't have to work as hard as they do on Earth. This leads to muscle shrinkage, which happens fast. After just a month and a half in space, astronauts can lose a lot of muscle strength. To fight this, astronauts have to exercise a ton. They use special machines to work out for about two hours every day. This helps slow down muscle loss, but it doesn't stop it completely. Here are some ways muscle loss in space affects astronauts. Weaker legs and arms, harder to move around when they return to Earth, and it takes time to readjust to gravity. Space agencies are always trying to find better ways to keep astronauts healthy. They're testing new exercise equipment and diets to help keep muscles strong during long space missions. A fiery hellscape. Venus is a planet you wouldn't want to visit. It's incredibly hot, with temperatures that can melt lead. The ground is so hot, it could cook you in seconds. The air is thick and heavy. It would crush you if you tried to walk on Venus. The pressure is like being deep underwater, but much worse. Acid rain falls from the sky. It's not the kind that just damages buildings. This stuff would burn your skin. The rain never reaches the ground, though. It's so hot that the drops evaporate before landing. You'd need some serious protection to survive on Venus. A regular spacesuit wouldn't cut it. The heat and pressure would destroy it quickly. Even spacecraft have trouble lasting long on the surface. Venus spins very slowly. A day there lasts longer than a year. The sun would barely seem to move in the sky. You'd be stuck in endless, scorching daylight. Dark matter and dark energy make up most of the universe, but you can't see them. They're like invisible puppeteers pulling the strings of galaxies in space itself. Dark matter acts like cosmic glue, holding galaxies together. Scientists think it makes up about 25% of the universe. But here's the weird part. It doesn't interact with light or regular matter. You could pass right through a cloud of dark matter and never know it. Dark energy is even stranger. It makes up a whopping 70% of the universe and seems to push everything apart. As space expands, dark energy speeds it up like a cosmic gas pedal. Scientists are scratching their heads trying to figure out what these mysterious things are made of. For now, they're the universe's biggest unsolved riddles. Space is full of invisible threats that can harm astronauts. One big problem is radiation. You're exposed to way more of it in space than on Earth. The sun shoots out dangerous particles, these can damage your DNA and cause health issues. Cosmic rays from far-off stars are even worse. They pack a stronger punch. 
Space agencies try to protect astronauts from these harmful particles. They use special shielding on spacecraft. Astronauts also wear protective gear, but it's not perfect. Here are some radiation risks in space. Cancer, damage to your brain and nerves, weakened immune system, higher chance of heart disease. The longer you stay in space, the more radiation you soak up. A trip to Mars would expose you to a lot. Scientists are working on better ways to keep space travelers safe. You might think the sun stays the same, but it's actually getting bigger over time. As it burns through its fuel, it heats up and expands. This slow growth will have big effects on Earth in the future. The sun is using up its hydrogen, turning it into helium through nuclear fusion. As this process continues, the sun gets hotter and larger. In about 5 billion years, it will swell so much that it could swallow up Mercury and Venus. For Earth, this expansion spells trouble. The growing sun will eventually make our planet too hot for life. Oceans will boil away and the atmosphere will burn off. This change is very slow, so you don't need to worry about it happening soon. But it's a reminder that even stars don't last forever. Our sun, like all stars, has a life cycle that will one day come to an end.